Welcome grade 2 students to a new lecture. Today we're going to read a new story and we're going to learn uh, a new phonics lesson. Ready? Let's start. Phonics. We have the short A and the long A. We have to know the differences between or the difference between the short A and the long A. I'll tell you, short A is the beginning sound you hear in the word apple. Let's say it together, a, a, apple. This is the short A sound. Say it with me, please. Apple. This is the short A sound. While the long A sound, long A is the middle sound you hear in the word terrain. Train. Can you hear the long A sound in the word train? T -r -a -n. Now let's read the phonics list together. First, we have the word bag. B -ag. Can you hear the short A sound in the word bag? We can also see a bag. Uh, now we have the word cap. K -a -p. This is a cap. We can hear the short A sound in the word cap. We have the word back. Now we have the word rake. Don't forget the magic E, remember? So this is the word rake. Can you hear the long A sound in the word rake? This is a rake. Now we have the word into. Into the box, for example. Here we have the word eight. Eight is the past tense of eat. Let's say it together. Eight. We can hear the long A sound, right? Now we have uh, the word ham. Ha -am. We can hear the short A sound in the word ham. This is a ham. Uh, now we have the word cape. K ape. This is a cape. It's a short cloth uh, worn from the head and neck, okay? So this is a red cape. We can hear the long A sound in the word cape. Now we have the word still. Still uh, is related to previous rules. It's a short I. We can hear the short I sound in the word still. Here we have the word done. Here we have the word bake. Bake. We can hear the long A sound in the word bake. Now we have the word mad. You can see the mad boy. We can hear the short A sound in the word mad. Here we have the word made. We added the magic E and now it. We can hear uh, the long A sound in the word made. Let's say it together. Made. We have the word belt. Belt. It's also related to previous rule. Uh, we can hear the short E sound in the word belt with the L blend. Belt. Uh, this is the word your. Now we have to circle the words that have the same vowel sound. Let's read the words. Number one, we have the words bag, cap, and bake. The words uh, bag and cap has short A sound, right? B, ag, k, ab. While the words bake has the long A sound. So we have to circle bag and cap. Number two, k, a, p, rake and cape. Yes, we have to circle rake and cape because they have the long a sound. Number three, h, am, ham, ate and mad. Let's read them one more time. H Ah, m. Can you hear the short A sound in the word ham? And the word mad. M -a -d. Yes, so we have to circle the word ham and the word mad. Because the word eight sounds the long A sound. Okay? 
It has the long A sound. Eight. Number four. B. Ake. We have the word bake with the long A sound. We have the word bag with the short A sound. And the word back also with a short A sound. So we have to circle bag and back. Number five. Eight. Mad and made. We can hear the short A sound in the word mad, the long A sound in the word made, right? Let's say it together. M -a -d, mad, m -aid. Can you see the magic E? So we have to circle eight and made. Now we have to draw a line through the letter that does not belong. Okay, and we have to write the correct word on the line. Let's start. Uh, we have this word. If I kept the letter E, uh, then we read it as the word uh, beige. And we don't have, uh, there is not any word in English that it's called beige. So we have to cross out the letter E. Now we have the word bag. Bag. Here we have the word cap, but there is something wrong here, right? So what do you think? We have to cross the letter A, okay? Now we have consonant, a vowel, and a consonant. We have the word cap, k -a -p, with a short A sound. Here we have to also cross out the letter E. If we kept the letter E, uh, we will read it as the words haim, ha aim, with the long A sound, but it doesn't make sense. So we have to cross the letter E, and now we have the word ham, with the short A sound. Here we have the words bake. We have to cross out the letter K. Now we have the words bake. B Ake, with the long A sound. Here we have the word mad. We know that we write the word mad this way. M -a -d. We have to cross out the letter D. Can you hear the short A sound on the word mad? Okay, let's move on. Here we have the word rake. But we have to cross out the letter R. Or the letter I, yes, we have to cross out the letter I. And now we have the word rake. Mate, if we kept the letter E over here, mm, it doesn't make sense. It's read as mm, me, <laughs> mate. So we have to cross out the letter E. Now we have the word mate with the long A sound. Here we have the word cape, cape, we have to cross out the letter P, what do you think? No, we have to cross out the letter I, now we have the word cape with the long A sound. This is the word eight, eight, why do we need the letter I here? No, so we have to cross it. Now we have the word eight with the long A sound. Here we have the word back. We have to cross out the letter H. This is how we write the word back with the short A sound. Our new reading lesson is related to how do we care for animals. Uh, animals need a lot of things, right? Uh, animals need fresh food and water each day, right? Can animals live without food and water? Animals need air to breathe and a safe place to live. Now we're going to watch a short video about how to care for animals. Animals need care. How do we care for animals? People give animals what they need. Zookeepers make sure the animals at the zoo get fresh food and water every day. 
If you have a pet, you take care of it when you feed it. Animals also need to be clean. This means sometimes they need a bath. Veterinarians give animals the medical care they need. This helps animals stay healthy. Let's start with our new vocabulary words. The first word we have is allowed. Allowed. What do I mean by the word allowed? Uh, allowed means permitted to do something. You are allowed to go to the beach. Let's read the sentence. Dogs are not allowed at the beach. Okay? Dogs are not permitted at the beach. Uh, we have the word care. Care means close and kind attention. Okay? I help care for my little brother. Or my mom takes a good care of me. Now we have the word excited. Excited means to be all worked up about something. The girls are were excited to play with their new puppy or our family is excited to have a new pet now we have the word needs needs means things one must have okay are the things that we need must have food and water are some of the needs of every animal right okay now we have the word uh, roam. Roam means to wander. To wander or to move freely. Lions roam the plains in Africa. Okay? Lions move or wander the plains in Africa. Safe. Safe means away from harm or danger. Wearing a seat belt keeps me safe in the car, or my hamster is safe in its cage. Now we have the word wandered. Wandered means uh, moved here and there, or moved freely as well. For example, a bear cub or a baby bear. The baby bear is called cub. A bear cub wandered away from its mother. Now we have the word the the word wild. Wild means an area where animals move freely, okay? Or a place where animals move freely. Uh, for example, bears and raccoons live in the wild, okay? Bears and raccoons uh, live in a place where they can move freely. Now let's choose the word that makes sense in each blank. Then write the word on the line. Let's write them together. The first sentence, uh, no, let's read the words together first. We have the word allowed, care, excited, needs, Roam, safe, wandered, and wild. Number one. Dogs are not blank in the park. Dogs are not allowed in the park. They are not permitted. Number two. Uh, wait, let's cross out the word allowed. Number two. An animal living in the blank is different than a pet. An animal living in the wild is different than a pet. Mm, let's cross out the word wild. Mm, sentence number three. A cat that has blank from its yard might get lost. A cat that has wandered from its yard might get might get lost so now we have sentence number 4 
The girl takes good blank of her pet hamster. The girl takes good care of her pet hamster. Number five. The children were blank about getting a new pet. The children were excited about getting a new pet. We use the word wondered, the word uh, allowed, care, excited, and wild. Now, a pet blank include water, food, and exercise. Mm, a pet needs or things that must have. Our cat keeps her kittens safe from danger, right? Pets live with people, but animals in the jungle mm, roam free or move. The title of our new lesson, of our new reading lesson is Taking Care of Pepper. But first, the genre of this story is narrative non-fiction. What do I mean by narrative non-fiction? It is about real people, things, or events, okay? It is told by a narrator. Uh, what do I mean by a narrator? A narrator is a person uh, who is not part of the story, okay? And it can have photos and captions. Photos are pictures, okay? This is a picture. This is a picture. So photos are pictures and captions are words that tell about a photo. Okay? Captions are words that tell about a photo. Let's start reading the lesson together, okay? Have you ever been on a farm? Have you ever been on a farm? Jack lives on a farm. This is Jack. He has a horse named Pepper. So this is Pepper and this is Jack. Jack helps take care of Pepper. Looking after a horse is a big job. A horse has many needs or things that must have. There are a lot of things a horse a horse must have to live. Let's take a look at some. Before I continue reading, uh, this is a caption, okay? So captions are words that tell about a photo. Let's read the caption first. Pepper stomps his hoof. Or uh, stumps means to step, okay? Uh, or to walk uh, with a loud, heavy step. So Pepper stumps his hoof uh, and nods his head when he sees Jack. What does the word nods mean? To lower and raise his head, okay? Let's continue reading. Every morning, Jack wakes up at 5 a.m. He and his father go to Pepper's stall. Stall or uh, barn. The stall keeps Pepper safe from bad weather and other dangers. When Pepper sees Jack, the horse gets excited. Jack smiles when the horse gets all worked up. All worked up has the same meaning as the word excited, okay? First, Jack gives Pepper hay to eat. This is the hay. While Pepper eats, Jack cleans Pepper's stall. He shovels out the dirty hay and so dust. Then he put down fresh padding. 
padding means uh, the soft material that they put on the horse okay to sit on uh, next uh, Jack strokes Pepper's brown coat and it feels smooth. Next, Jack strokes. Uh, strokes means uh, hits. So, Jack strokes Pepper's brown coat and it feels smooth. Then, Jack leaves to go to school, but his work is not done. At 3, a at 3 p.m., Jack rides the bus back home. So he goes to school early morning and he comes back at 3 p.m. He has a snack and does his homework. Okay. Next, his mother gives him an apple for Pepper. Then they go to visit Pepper again. This is another caption. Let's read it together. Jack feeds Pepper hay and fresh water every day. So, Pepper needs hay and fresh water every day. Now, after we've read the story, um, you can continue reading the story in your Reading Writing Wonders book. Now, Let's read the following sentence from the text, page 72. Um, the stall keeps Pepper safe from bad weather. Using context clues, what do you think stall means? I guess stall means... What do you think? Pepper's stable or a barn. Because it keeps Pepper safe from bad weather weather now let's uh, let's list three things jack does for pepper you can find more than three but we're gonna list only three uh, you can find them in page 72 and page 73 the first thing is jack gives pepper hay to eat right the second thing jack does for pepper is he cleans Pepper's stall and Jack puts down fresh padding. Um, great job everyone and uh, don't forget to solve the related worksheet. We will meet in the Zoom session. Stay safe.